Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Property Management with today's Landlord Tip. Joining me today is Nick Ludwig with Dolliff Insurance. Nick, how are you doing? I'm doing real good. Thanks. Hey, thanks for being here today, Nick. So today we're going to talk about uh, a subject or a topic that uh, comes up frequently where I get questions on uh, from landlords. They want to know, they say, hey, Scott, I've, uh, I've been managing my own stuff for the last you know million years and I got my maintenance guy. Uh, I don't need workers' comp, or do I need workers' comp? Or for a lot of them, it's the first time the the two words ever you know, were brought up in the same sentence. So, right. uh, can you provide a little clarity on you know who needs workers' comp and and what that might look like? Sure. So, workers' compensation very basically is coverage for employees, right? Yeah. Covers them if they're disabled or they're injured on the job while working on the job, and depending on the state. Uh, most employees are going to ha have to be covered, right? There are some exceptions in Minnesota, which we happen to be in uh, today. Even a single employee, even if you only have one employee, they legally are, you're supposed to have workers' compensation coverage for them. Okay. Now, if you're an owner and you run a business and you're small, small, small business, just you, or you got a couple employees, you as an owner can opt out of having coverage for yourself because perhaps you're also an employee, right? You're paying yourself as well. Right. And you can opt out until you get uh, a little bigger. But uh, any employee that's not an owner, you really got to cover them for workers' compensation if they are your employee. Now, if they're uh, operating their own business, uh, they may be responsible for their own workers' compensation coverage. But uh, the state you has a has a, an interest, a vested interest in making sure that employees are covered for workers' compensation. And so typically, and particularly when you start getting into maintenance, building construction, things like that, the state wants to make sure that everybody that's working on those projects is covered by workers' compensation one way or another. So say I own eight unit building and, right. I, and, and a couple duplexes and I got a guy right. who's been working for me forever. Uh, I'm paying him thirty bucks an hour, and that's it. And I never ask for any, and he never, I never ask questions. And he does his work. He's never gotten hurt. And then suddenly he gets hurt, and I didn't have workers' comp, and he didn't have. Uh, right. Is there a potential problem here? Yes, there is. <laughs> uh, well, and and again, you might you might consider well, he's a contractor, right? He, I don't, I'm not employing him. I'm paying, uh, you know. But if you're paying him by hour, right? right it's kind of hard to, to to then come back and say, well, he wasn't my employee. If you pay him by the job, you might get a, get around it. But there's a there are criteria, criteria and and workers' compensation is is a little different in in one specific case, which I think is important, and that is the insurance policy, the the rules or the coverage in the insurance policy is regulated by the state. In other words, the insurance company doesn't decide in a workers' compensation policy who's covered and who isn't covered. Okay. The state, depending on which state it is, they tell you this is what your policy is supposed to say and this is what we decide is an employee versus an, an independent contractor so don't blame the insurance company the insurance company will give you a policy but the coverage and to the extent that that coverage when that coverage applies is all based on state statutes state laws and rules and if someone's not clear i mean really talk to an attorney you think is that something that yeah you can to talk do? to attorney or i mean i'm happy to to help and give some advice the nice thing about workers compensation laws is that they're all online right department of labor department of labor and industry yeah. you look it all up and they have lots of question and answers and they and they give you a lot of good information about what's required and what what when you need to be covered or when you need to cover your employees and when you don't have to there are a few cases where you don't but it's very you know minor it's in the vast majority of cases uh, the state says if you've got an employee they need to be covered by workers compensation okay and if someone were to hire a contractor just uh, they, they need to provide not just liability insurance but should they provide their work should, should we ask that as well absolutely you want to okay. know if you're hiring a contractor you want to know that they are covered they have their own workers compensation policy right because that protects you in case somebody then alleges later on that one of their people was actually working for you directly and they got hurt and then they say well you should pay for my workers compensation benefits no if, the, if they're working for the contractor 
make sure the contractor has workers' compensation coverage. Okay. And then if, <laughs> say, say the property manager has workers' comp but then hires a contractor and they let their policy lapse, is the property manager then liable? So it right, depends on the circumstances, right? Yeah. Because did that property manager actually hire that or, or, did, the, or did somebody else? And, again, some of these things are actually adjudicated because there are questions of fact. Right, right. right. But the, the best thing, the way you avoid all these these uh, problems, particularly, you know, nobody wants to get into a situation where there's a dispute over coverage and benefits, work comp benefits for somebody that's seriously hurt. Right, right. right. And then all of a sudden, well, where's the coverage, right? And so you want to handle it up front and make sure that, look at whoever's, whoever's employee that person is, that's, that employer is the one that should have the workers' compensation insurance. Right, right. But if they're a one-person shop, they, they don't need to carry it. Correct. They may not need to carry it. They can it. opt out of it. They can opt out, uh, but uh, in in cases of construction, uh, heavy you know heavy labor, heavy uh, industry, you still might want them to have right, workers' compensation. Right. Coverage. Yeah, I, I I I see very few scenarios where you where you wouldn't ask for that. You know, right. just to right. just as a a matter, like you said, it's better to address it up front before there's an issue. Right. Um, because that's when everyone's friendly. Exactly, yeah. and and you got somebody that's that's hurt, could be could be seriously hurt, that can't work anymore. Well, what are they going to do? You know, they're going to try to find some coverage from somebody. Right, right, right. Awesome. Well, this is uh, you know more more to it than I, I I'm sure that we can cover in a few minutes. But if someone wants to dig a little deeper, how what is the best way to get in touch with you, Nick? Sure. Uh, call me nine five two five nine three seven four zero zero. Or email me at nludwig at doliff.com. That's spelled N-L-U-D-W-I-G at D-O-L-L-I-F-F dot com. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Nick. Thank you. And I'm Scott Picard with Verde Property Management. We hope this content has been valuable. If you want to reach us, our number is 612-600-8888, 612-600-8888. Call or text or online 24-7 at Verde dash realestate.com. If we could be a further service, please let us know. Thank you.